Hi, today I'm going to walk through my simple setup uh, for keeping a water wheel plant uh, in your home. This setup has worked out for me for the last six months or so, um, and it's pretty small, pretty easy, um, and I think uh, there's this thought out there that this is much harder than maybe it really is. Um, so this is a five inch cube, um, really a planter, I think, but I'm putting water in it and um, the plant's been in there for the past couple of months. Uh, it's 72 degrees um, Fahrenheit uh, during the day, and it drops a bit at night, but not terribly. Um, I have it about seven or eight inches from a CFL grow light, so there's some heat coming from that. Um, but uh, I think the light cycle right now, this is, this is a winter, um, originally it was a winter table, so this is a seven hour um, on, and it just automatically turns off, so it's um, really pretty uh, shaded daylight the rest of the day, um, and then of course uh, nothing at night. Um, the soil itself is a mono um, brand aqua soil um, used for aquascaping. Uh, there are some other plants in, in there as well. I was originally trying to grow these uh, tiny lilies and using the aqua soil for that, but then I thought, oh, okay, I could try throwing in this water wheel, see if it could feed on um, some of the critters that live in there right now. In addition to the aqua soil, there's a bit of, you know, quote, pond scum that came along with the lilies. I think that probably helps seed something, but I don't do anything to maintain um, the, uh, I think, you know, Daphnia or whatever else might be in there. <clears throat> so um, this has been pretty, uh, pretty easy. As far as water changes, I, I change about a cup of water a week. Um, I don't treat the water. I live in uh, Seattle where we have, uh, I guess, pretty easy water for this anyway. Um, there is, there's actually a, bla uh, a bladder ward in there, so there's some competition for food even. Um, but the, uh, uh, the water wheel seems fine. I would say compared to my more complicated setup that's, uh, that's CO2 injected, this does grow much differently. Uh, traps are much smaller um, in this, uh, this setup. And I would say it's, it's kind of a stringier plant. It looks a little bit less, you know, less vigorous, but it's definitely growing. Um, and, and I would say the, probably the most important addition actually is uh, aquatic snails. So this plant has been feeding on, um, I guess I would say juvenile snails, like pretty small ones. Um, and that's what I think the bulk of its diet is actually. Um, so if you can see a few snails in here, uh, then they'll, you know, start to have babies and, you know, that will probably be enough to feed, uh, to feed the plant. It's, you know, by itself, I would guess. Um, and that's really what my uh, plants in the other setup do as well. So I will change views now to give you a uh, kind of a different look. Here's an overhead view of the setup. Uh, you can see um, some little uh, crud in there um, in addition to the aqua soil. So it's not just aqua soil. Uh, you can probably see some um, little Daphnia swimming around, uh, maybe some snails as well. The, um, like I was saying, the uh, water wheel plant itself is definitely stringier and the traps are a bit smaller than what you would see in a CO2 injected setup. But this, you know, overall, this has been much easier than I expected, like I was saying. Um, and really with not that much water, uh, not a long light cycle, um, I think you can certainly keep these things alive um, and, you know, they'll even thrive. This has been a few months for me, so I'm interested to see um, what happens uh, soon, if it, these will split. Um, this is a different, uh, these are different conditions for me too. Maybe they'll, um, they'll be flowering. Um, but uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please pass them in the comments and I can make some follow-up videos to show you how this um, develops over the next months. Thanks.